staying connected through a different type of messaging device. Welcome to Textonation. Joining us is Jean Gregoire, CEO and founder of a company called Lovebox. Thanks for joining us, Jean. Hi, Fred. Thanks for having me. And hi, everyone. Well, an intriguing name. Tell us what Lovebox is all about. Oh, so the, the company Lovebox mission is about helping people maintain the habit of expressing their affection to the people they care uh, on a regular basis. And uh, so the love box itself, it's a device which basically allows you to brighten someone's day uh, instantly. So describe it for us. Yes, of course. So it's, uh, that's a, a wooden uh, box made of bamboo wood and with some Wi-Fi connected electronics and a display uh, inside and uh, a heart in front. And so you will gift uh, this box to someone you love. I don't know, um, your mother, a kid, uh, your significant other. And then, so everyone, so all the loved ones will have the mobile app, allowing them to send a message to this box. And whenever uh, a message comes up, the heart in front, which starts spinning and continues spinning until they open the lid to discover the drawing, the text message or the photo you send. So the whole difference with you know, traditional communication channels is that you will have this moment of delight when you go home, see the little heart spinning and know that somebody you know, has spent a few minutes of their time to send something special to make you feel happy and loved. How did this come about? Oh, so I... I, so I created the first love box when I was going to MIT. Uh, I was in France at the time. And uh, so I moved to, to MIT for a postdoc and my, my fiance was staying in France. So I wanted to create a device for the two of us so that she can feel how much I love her uh, from a distance. And so this is why I created the first one. It was not a product idea, not a business idea, just something to help me and my fiance at the time. Look at that, a romantic geek. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, definitely a geek and definitely romantic. Now my whole life is about love. Like I'm love at home, love in my work. <laughs> so you you're, you went to MIT, you said postdoctorate work? S sorry? And you said postdoctorate work at MIT? What, what yeah, were you, exactly. What I was were working you? in robotics in robotics and then this idea hit and now it's a, a business. Yeah, exactly. It, it was hard to decide, you know, at the end of the, my postdoc, I had the opportunity to stay at MIT and I had to decide between my, my you know, my life as an entrepreneur or staying at MIT. And, you know, that was something very safe and very prestigious or something very risky and a tough life for a few years. But you know, I decided to to go, you know, hundred uh, percent, and 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 that worked. So finally, I can say that it was the right choice. So tell us about uh, where you've taken the business since you made that decision, that fateful decision. Yeah. So it's so we launched a product. So I launched a product a year after uh, leaving MIT on Kickstarter. Uh, that was in two thousand and seventeen. So really Kickstarter helped us, um, you know, make, you know, make Americans discover the product uh, because this is, a, you know, the perfect place to, to, to launch a, 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 new, a new electronics product and something innovative that people don't know. So, so yeah, that was in 2017 and we, we sold about a few thousand units. And so after that, the, you know, the whole work has been, you know, industrializing, making sure we can you know, manufacture dozens of thousands of units a year that we manufacture at the right price. That's the software experience uh, you know, is, is good. It's not buggy, it's scalable. So it's, it's been a lot of work. And you, so you have it out there now that people can buy. Tell us about the, the design that you put into this because you mentioned it's wooden, but it's, it's, it's very special. Tell us about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, the first the first love box I, I, I created was already in wood and uh, 
And so when we were talking with the designer, uh, it's Xavier Wee, it's a very famous designer in France designing a lot of connected devices. And we decided to stay with the wood because, um, you know, wood is typically, it reminds me, you know, that I have a tree on an island where I go quite regularly in France with my, my, my fiance, uh, where we engrave our, our initials and we go back there you know, regularly we go find a tree. Sometimes it's hard because sometimes we didn't go for a while. And, you know, there is something in, in, in wood which is very special, which is about, you know, like, which is about life, which is about time and all that. So I think wood, it's something, it's a, a material which has, a, you know, a lot of emotions, uh, uh, you know, involved. And so this is what this is why I decided to make it in wood. Also, because it's not it's very different from all other gadgets. Like typically, your mobile phone, you know, you will have so many notifications about anything. Like uh, like you have low balance on your account. Or I don't know what. It's a mix of all different kind of emotions and a lot of bad ones too. <laughs> a lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones too. So I wanted to make sure that the design of the love box is very different from all the gadgets. And typically I think they are, well, they are, they are more and more now, but it's it's quite unusual for a gadget to be made of wood D just because it's, it costs a lot. <laughs> it's very hard to manufacture, uh, especially our love box is made of, of one piece of wood, which is in wood. So it's, uh, it's, it's not uh, assembled pieces of wood. So that's quite hard to, to manufacture, but the end result is just beautiful. And you can also engrave something on the lid. So exactly the way you would engrave something on a tree with your loved one. So that's, that's something we bring some emotion. And then when people open it up, there's that surprise screen inside that has the messages. How many people can connect to a single love box? Say, uh, say this was given to uh, a grandchild or, or a grandmother, yeah. even that they, with multiple grandchildren. Yes, yeah, so at the beginning there was a, a a software limitation that you could only I don't remember something like you could only connect sixteen people or something uh, for some weird software reason. Uh, but now you can connect an unlimited number of people and and that's funny because we at the beginning we thought like okay let's put 16 as a limit it's fine nobody has more than 16 loved ones to connect to love box and when we launched the product we had dozens of people saying oh no i can't connect more than 16 people i wanted to connect the whole family and so yeah now there is you can have a family of like six billion people it's fine you can connect all of them to your love box Terrific. And uh, gives an incentive, I guess, for, for little ones to learn how to read, I suppose, if they want to read the messages themselves. Totally, totally. So we have, we have many people using the box with, uh, with kids exactly for this reason. Like at the beginning, you send only drawings, then maybe you will start saying a drawing and a bit of text and the, the parent can go and help, you know, read the message and say, oh, this is written that. And so it's much more fun for a kid to go, you know, oh, I have a message of love from my uncle, let's open the box and, and see what is inside. Oh, dad, come help me, I can't read what is written, you know, and it becomes a game and something very joyful and nice. It's not like, oh, go for a reading lesson, like <laughs> nobody wants a reading lesson, but everybody wants to read a love message, so yeah. So given its origins, I hope this has had a, a happy effect on, on your relationship there. <laughs> and oh, yeah, 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 totally. So it's, it's you know, even, so even if I created a device for long distance relationships, the truth is that, especially today, well, like we, we are not, we are not like working, everyone is working nine to five and, you know, going home at the same time and everything, you know, we have we have different lifestyles and we're not always at home at the same time and also typically when i was an entrepreneur and i was well i'm still an entrepreneur but at the very beginning of the of the startup life i was really traveling all the time and and you know it was really really nice to 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 have a device to stay connected when i was away from home or just you know when i was waking up super early for a meeting and then 
you know, I wanted to make sure that when uh, she wakes up, she could have a message from me or this kind of this kind of thing, which really keeps you connected. So you've got a whiteboard behind you. Let's let's hear about what's next on the drawing board. Oh, so what's next for Lovebox? So yeah, uh, I can tell you about maybe two perspective. One nice perspective is on the hardware. So the spinning part of the device for now, it's a heart which spins whenever there is a message. And by doing some interviews, we realize that for many people, uh, they would like to have something different, uh, to express different feelings. So we are working on a project to have different kind of emojis, uh, spinning parts uh, that will fit more for different uh, use cases. So that's, that's something we are working on and we could launch at the end of the year. Uh, that's a, a simple project, but it's, it means a lot for some people. And um, then, the rest of the year will be more focused on, on software and content because typically, as I said, now I really believe that the love box is like the best way to receive a love note. Like you have such a moment of delight. That's wonderful. But now we want also to offer the best way to write a love note. And so today the, the app is good, but it's not so much better than all the apps to write a love note. So what we want to do next is to help people with a lot of content and nudging so that in a few minutes, they will design the perfect love note to make somebody feel super loved, super happy. And that if your love box is connected to your grandmother, we should not nudge you the same way as if it's connected to a kid. So we, that's what we are working on now because it will really help you, you know, maintain the habit of sending love notes. If we remind you at the same and the right time and we help you with some nudging content so that you have the right ideas that you can personalize. Terrific. So tell us about availability and pricing. Yeah, so it's available so in the uh, US, which is our main market, 80% of sales are in the US. So US, uh, Europe, uh, UK, well, and Australia. And uh, so the, the selling price in the US, we have two versions, the black and white version, which can receive anything black and white, and it's 99.99 uh, .99 US dollars. Uh, so basically 100 euros. And uh, we have a, a, a color and photo version, which can receive anything. And this version is at $120. Very cool. And people can find it. Where can they find it? Yeah. So the best way if you, if you want to buy it is on our website, lovebox.love. Really, the .love domain exists, lovebox.love. And we are also available in some retailers or on Amazon. But if you want to support us, the best way is lovebox.love. So is this better than robotics and AI and all that stuff? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. And, you know, at the end, um, especially what we are working on now, uh, there will be a lot of technology involved uh, to, 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 you know, to help to design all this nudging technology to help people uh, with the best content and personalize it. So it's, it's more complicated than it can seem, that it can look like. Well, love is complicated. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> For more information, once again, you can go to lovebox.love. Jean Gregoire, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you so much, Fred. Now this, it takes a lot of listening to build a better radio. And that's just what the folks at Sea Crane have done. Bob Crane and his crew nestled among the rivers and tallest trees in the world in Fortuna, California, have made a habit of listening to their customers. And that's just what they've done in building the CC Skywave SSB, the Swiss army knife of portable radios. For everyday listening to AM or FM in the yard or patio or on the nightstand, Without having to drain a mobile phone battery, it's a great companion. But it is also a companion equipped for NOAA weather information and alerts that can be life-saving. You can listen to FEMA and Coast Guard transmissions too. Beyond all of that, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. It's compact, easy to take with you, and built to last. The CC Skywave SSB. Click on the link at textonation.com.